we are back. I just watched episode six of Rings of Power, and this is the first episode so far that felt like an episode of a normal TV show. Not a good TV show, but it had momentum and scenes flowed into the next ones and characters had relationships. This episode mostly followed the Southland plot with the humans and the elf guy and uh, Adar with a bit of Numenor thrown in. I, I had a thought while watching it. It might sound strange, but I think that this should have been the first episode of the show because the plot starts now. Like it, it was five episodes of kind of not much moving and now things move. And also all the characters' best scenes are in this episode. The scenes that explained who they were as characters at any level, almost all of them were in this episode and did it better. Scenes in this episode explained certain characters better than the last five episodes combined have. Arondir, I this is the first time I'm saying his name out loud in one of these. His scenes, like there, there's some character there. His relationship with the, with the woman, their best scene by far is in here. His relationship with her son, best scene by far here. Uh, Elendil and Isildur's best scenes together here. Uh, Galadriel's best scene is in this. I mean, she, her, her talking to Isildur on the boat is the first time she felt, at, at even a little bit, how I envisioned Galadriel in my head. You know, just just she she had an actual interest in the people around her. She wasn't constantly focused on her goals of vengeance, and she 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 felt like a person talking to another person, just a little bit. It wasn't a great scene, but she, she felt like a person. Honestly, this would have been a great episode to introduce her when she r rides in on the thing, and they were like, "Who's that?" It's Galadriel. Cut all of her earlier stuff out. Introduce her there. Why why did we need the five episodes? This, this is where you introduce her. And like every, every, oh, I did a thought experiment in my head I while I was watching it. I was like, can this scene work without the context of the previous five episodes? And you'd be shocked how many of them did. Like I, I, almost the entire show worked without context. It would be like a little confusing and fast paced in the sense of like, what's going on? What's this? But it, it works better. I think it actively works better. I, 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 this is a weird hill to die on, but I, I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take a stand. This should have been the first episode, because this is where the plot starts. This is where they, they actually confront the orcs. This is where they actually, where, where Sauron, and where he might be, and makes any leeway. Uh, even Adar, right? Like it, they explain his whole deal in this episode. Now I, lo I, I like the previous stuff with him, but my point is. Everything is kind of explained in this episode to an extent. It functioned as a story. This is like the first time it's ever functioned as a story. I mean, would... If they had done that, would us Tolkien nerds be happy with it? No. No, we wouldn't. We would still be pissed. But it would have functioned as a story. I don't really want to recap the story. Uh, I'm tired. Basically, the humans make a stand against uh, Adar's orcs. And, uh, which is mostly Arondir and Bronwyn. Why is Bronwyn so good at fighting? It's, I, she, and she actually saves Arondir. I, I got, that, that annoyed the hell out of me. Oh my God. It's just, it, I was hoping it would be her son because that would have meant something because they've had tension in the past, but no, it's her. Cause of course it is. They, oh, they pretended that Bronwyn was going to die. Uh, I was, I was hoping she would, because that would have been dramatic. And I was excited to, I like, oh, is, is Arondir, this stoic character, gonna lose his mind and go ham because she died? This, I feel bad, but I was disappointed that she didn't die. <laughs> what? Okay. So they have this confrontation, and then uh, the very off-brand Rohirrim rides into the rescue. Oh, that 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 ride did not look good. This keeps happening where the show like says, "Oh, we're its own thing," but then references previous Tolkien material in such a way just to, that just calls attention to how lesser it is. Anyway, that that was pretty weak. Adar 
gets caught and has this confrontation with Galadriel, which is really fun. I would have loved that confrontation if it wasn't Galadriel. The fact that it's Galadriel rubs you the wrong, or at least rubbed me the wrong way, because she, I, I mean, yeah, she's been whole vengeance focused this whole time, but then she's like, she threat, so she threatens him, and then she tells him that she's going to kill every orc in existence and leave him to last so he can watch all of his children die and then kill him. And when he calls her out on how horrifyingly dark that is with a great lot, like I love his response to that. that. That's actually so, it felt so satisfying for someone to call her out on it. And it was great. And then she, and, and then she, Threatens to kill him again, even though she just a second ago threat she she threatened not she threatened to kill him she threatened not to kill him and now she's threatening to kill him again and and then Halbrand comes in to, that stops her from killing him and her her rage over him is feels a little overblown if he was one of the people involved in Finrod's death then it would make sense but she's almost acting like he's Sauron her threat to him is so cruel needlessly so because she's the one not, not he doesn't even bring it up but she brings up that he's an elf that morgoth took and tortured into being like this she's the one who she knows this in her own words she describes him as a victim of some a horrible violation of his self and and she's treating him like he's morgoth i, I is he evil yeah, but that's not that's it's such an overblown reaction. Besides that fact, I I liked the scene just because I liked Adar. <laughs> and it was nice to have it confirmed that I, I was right and he was uh, an elf that was tortured by Morgoth. Again, I like the concept. I, I wish they'd do more with it. And then he has a plan that basically ignites Mount Doom, which was on very dramatic end of the episode, it's the first episode where you kind of like want to see the next episode because like something happens. This is what I'm telling you. The plot structure of this story it, like works in this episode. I don't like lots of the choices they made, but the structure is there and it wasn't there for five episodes. So it stands out. I, the key is the focus. They only did like two plots. They did they did they did the the plot of the people fighting against Adar, and they did the plot of Numenor coming to rescue them. But Numenor's army looks so small. I I would say like budget reasons, but they have a billion dollars, right? Why why Numenor like doesn't feel like an impressive pinnacle of civilization society. It it they they they're very hollow. Their costuming it feels very basic and uninspired. I don't their 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 aesthetic doesn't really gel and their fighting force like they sent what three ships or something and this look like 500 men at most to to rescue the southlands and it's like how small is this global superpower i don't know uh, whatever bronwyn and the queen have a scene that just bring home that a lot of characters are really similar in personality. They're like strong, focused, uh, on the mission types of characters, right? Uh, and like having them all on the same in the same scene almost just shows you just like where where is the character traits of any of these people? There's there's no flavor. There's they don't feel like oh there's different uh, uh, like half the protagonists of the story are kind of the same character. But okay, and then Halbrand and. Galadriel have a thing there where I think they enjoyed fighting together or something. Mm, okay. I mean, and there's still pacing problems. This is still not a well-paced story. Like, there's a weird part where they kind of have two touching, sweet, um, like, soft moments back-to-back, -back, which seems a little strange because it's, like, the same sort of scene back-to-back. Imagine if the show started with this episode, and maybe, maybe, maybe start Arondir, 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 the elf guy, uh, with his elf troop, and they pass by the 
the village and it's clear that he she him and this 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 healer lady have a thing but they don't really talk and maybe the her his his troop tease him about it or whatever to, sh- to start that plot and then they all get captured by Adar and like killed dramatically fast not like a bunch of scenes of it but fast and then Adar comes in and gives the warning to the people he goes to the people and the people don't go to the watchtower all that that nonsense that, that's unnecessary because the fight ends up taking place in their village anyway go to the village he gives the message to, to to the village half the village goes off to swear allegiance to Adar they fortify the village he has some scenes with the healer lady and his son and then then the fight happens they do this bat whole thing Numenorians save them you see Galadriel riding in and Arondir's like that's the Galadriel the commander of northern armies and then they have this fight and they have the thing and and just do it like that with that you don't need that that's as much context as you need for this story and you're like okay well, this 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 weapon or stuff you don't even need to explain it because uh, Galadriel doesn't know the context or you don't actually need to explain what the thing is I'm gonna die on this hill I am I it it would have functioned better it would have I've said my th- what I think about it, but uh, I'm interested in seeing where what episode seven will be now that the plot has started. Um, see you on the next one.